Imagine what it's like to be in a fairy tale. That's what it was. Amazing, amazing experience. After the premiere in Cannes, which took place in a hall, a movie theater that has room for 3,000 people, which was packed, after the, they finished the, um, the screening, there were about five to ten seconds of silence, and then everybody in the auditorium stood up and gave Joseph and the film a standing ovation. And it went on for about ten minutes. And my, my son, uh, after he had taken about 150 bows, he came over and gave me a big hug. And the crowd went crazy, clapping even more. <laughs> and then my wife got a big hug and a kiss. And again, the crowd went crazy, clapping and applauding. Um, what can I tell you? It's a real fairy tale. The movie is about uh, two professors, the university. Uh, both of them uh, are in the deal with the topic of Talmud. And the major part of the story is the interactions, the relationship between these two professors who happen to be father and son. Um, each one has a different approach. Each one have, feels something about the other, and the, the story, as it develops, has to do with the interactions between the two and all the feelings that are involved in, in relationships between fathers and sons. It's a very good question. Uh, I hate to disappoint everybody, but it has not really have anything to do with uh, our, our relationship, my relationship with my son. Like any story, uh, the author of the story always takes little pieces from different real events. And I'm sure that some, some parts of the characters come from me and my son, my family. Uh, but most of the characterization is taken from many, many other people and many other different examples. This movie was started by a freak incident. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you what the incident was. Uh, may I assume that someday he'll uh, reveal it. Right? But so far, it's being kept a secret. And the whole thing is based on this one little incident that happened, and he developed it into the story. We really don't think that way. I mean, I think both of both myself and, and my son, our families, uh, get a lot of satisfaction out of doing something like this, doing something creative, doing contributing something, and uh, getting awards is very, very nice. But it really, both for myself and for my son, it's not the the major drive at all. And uh, if it happens, it's wonderful. If it doesn't happen. It's also great. Well, we, first of all, we brought off my kids so that they would all do whatever they wanted to do. And we never in either encouraged them or forced them to, uh, to do the, the, what we, we uh, were involved in. Um, but I must admit that going into the entertainment business and movie making did not sound like a dream for me. And, and I had my, uh, my doubts about, about it. And, but then, when my son got, was getting started, he was a stage manager at a television studio for a short time. And one day he said, Dad, why don't you come over and see what we do? So I took off from work and I went there. And I spent two hours there. And I saw what this world is, that it's, a, that it's a creative world, and there's a lot of interaction, there's a lot of room for um, intellectual activity and making a contribution in, in uh, um, interactions between people, and how, what a contribution it is to society. When I saw all these things, I understood what he wanted, and I'm very, very supportive after that. 
And I know that Joseph has all sorts of ideas. I don't know which one of them is going to be the next movie, but you couldn't be assured it's going to be a good one. <laughs>